iOS 26 brings a lot of changes, be it the new liquid glass redesign, the improved apps or the AI features. And yeah, most of us already know about all of these features. But the truth is that iOS 26 also has a lot of hidden features that can really improve your iPhone experience. Hey guys, I'm Akshay from 8-Bit Toast and I've been using iOS 26 since the first developer beta and I've found some really cool hidden features that you guys should know about. So let's jump right in. First up, iOS 26 is probably the only update that's making me want to buy an official Apple case. Why? Well, because when you're customizing your home screen, you can now choose to tint your app icons in the color of your Apple case. Yeah, this is showing pink right now because I've put my white Apple case on my iPhone and this is actually quite cool. Plus, you can use this option to tint the icons according to the color of your iPhone as well. Next, you can now set up reminders to call people back. And yeah, this isn't just for missed calls. Basically, in the call screen, you can swipe left on any of your recent calls and tap on this clock icon to set up a reminder to call them back in fun hour, tonight, tomorrow, or later sometime. This is super handy if you've just talked to someone and you need to follow up with them after a couple of hours or if you just want to respond to your missed calls in an hour or later that day. If there's one thing I love about Android phones, it's the universal swipe gesture to go back. Yeah, this is amazing. And with iOS 26, iPhones get a bit closer to that. Instead of swiping from the edge to go back in apps, you can now actually swipe anywhere on the screen to go back. This is much better because you don't need to reach all the way to the edge of the display just to go back and it makes it a lot easier to use the swipe gestures in iOS. Yeah, this is great and all I really want now is a universal swipe gesture to go back. I mean, come on Apple, just copy it iOS 26 makes Safari a lot better and if you're not using Safari as your default browser on iPhone, you should really check it out. But this video is about hidden features, so let me tell you about some hidden settings and features in Safari. Instead of swiping up on the address bar or pinching in or tapping on this menu and then tapping on all tabs, you can now just double tap on this three dot icon and it directly goes to the all tab screen. Yeah, that tab gesture is a lot faster, but there's another Safari feature that you need to know. If you go into Safari settings, you can now choose the tab style between the new compact layout, the older bottom layout, or the top layout if you prefer the even older Safari look. It's honestly a bit weird to see Apple offering choices to its users, but yeah, I'm glad it's happening. Speaking of choices, camera control is a lot more customizable now. Inside the camera control settings, you can now customize the controls that show up in the camera control. You can remove controls you don't use and you can rearrange them in the order that you want. Honestly, these are things that should have been there when Apple first launched camera control, but it's there now and yeah, it's definitely an improvement. Another hidden feature in iOS 26 is actually the magnifier tool, which is finally back now. Yeah, when you are annotating a screenshot, you can now tap on this plus icon and add the new magnifier tool to zoom in on specific areas in your screenshot and you can add a stroke around it, change its color, adjust the zoom, etc. Yeah, this tool was removed back in iOS 17 for some weird reason, but I'm glad it's back now because I used to use this all the time iOS 26 also brings a hidden feature in the Messages app. If you get a message and you just want to select a specific part of it, you can simply long press on it, tap on the select option and then choose the text you need to select. This looks like a small thing, but it's actually very useful if you want to copy like an address or something from a longer text. If you're anything like me, you use your Files app a lot for your PDFs, your downloaded images, videos and everything else. And with iOS 26, you can now select a default app to open all of these files. Simply long press on the file, tap on the get info option and you can select a compatible app to open the files in the future. Plus, you can also use the open with option to open a file with a specific app just that one time. The podcast app also has a really cool hidden feature now. In the podcast player, instead of having to tap on the speed option and choosing a faster or slower playback speed, you can just swipe up or down to adjust the speed and it has a nice haptic feedback as well. Plus, if you do tap on the speed option, you can also swipe left and right and you can get more granular speed levels with haptic feedback here too. Another hidden feature in iOS 26 is within Apple Music. Now, you might already know that you can pin your favorite playlist, etc. in Apple Music. However, if you long press on a pinned playlist, you get a new option to customize the tap action. So you can choose between go to playlist, play and shuffle. So if I choose play, I can just tap on this playlist and it will start playing directly. Yeah, this is better because I prefer to just tap on the playlist to start playing the music instead of opening the playlist and then choosing a song. And it's nice that I can set it up like that iOS 26 also makes the search inside the Photos app a lot better. Yeah, if you search for something in the Photos app like laptop, it will now show the video thumbnails of the exact moment where the searched item was found. This is better because you can now quickly see whether it's the right video and it makes searching for things a lot faster. 
Okay, so I wasn't gonna include this feature because a lot of people have already made videos on it. So it's not really a hidden feature anymore, but just in case you haven't watched those videos, yes, you can now set custom ringtones in iPhone easily. I mean, earlier you had to have GarageBand on your iPhone, jump through a lot of hoops, build a rocket ship, land on the moon just to set up a custom ringtone. But now, well, you can just save your favorite audio in the Files app, long press on it and choose the set as ringtone option. Now, technically, technically, this option does show up for songs in Apple Music as well. But when you tap on it, it just freezes the entire app. But that would be so cool if you could just set up songs from Apple Music directly as your ringtone. It probably won't happen because, you know, licensing rights, etc, etc. But at least you can set your downloaded songs as your ringtones easily. Well, those were the 12 best hidden features in iOS 26 that you need to try out. And hopefully you found at least some of these features useful. And if you did, please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That's all from my side. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.